director, a city engineer position has been closed. We've received 40 applicants, and we have an external panel interview put together that are going to um, meet with our candidates this Friday. Seven finalists are going to go in front of this panel, and hopefully we will present uh, to you, Mayor, sometime between that Friday and the 29th, and then council will meet with that individual on the 29th and come forward for confirmation on the 9th. And the reason I say hopefully is that one of the final can candidates is out of the country. And if it turns out after meeting with the others that we feel that person is the number one candidate, we'll delay the process just a bit. But if not, we will move forward as uh, according to schedule. Meeting with council on the 29th and coming forward for confirmation on the 9th. The city clerk position um, has been posted and also has been removed from posting. I am in the process of pre-screening with phone interviews. We had 97 applicants. <laughs> so you can imagine it's been a full-time job. Uh, the timing for this individual is we do have an external panel uh, established that will be meeting with the finalists. I don't know how many of those uh, will be at this point in time on April 4th. We do have uh, on the agenda planner a confirmation scheduled on the 23rd. It just kind of depends on how it plays out between now and then, whether we can make that 23rd, but it is a, a placeholder, so council will meet with that individual sometime in advance that Amy uh, will coordinate with all of you. The parks director position has been posted. Also, we've had 128 uh, applicants for that particular position. I'm also pre-screening via phone um, those candidates. The external panel interview is scheduled for April 2nd, Wednesday, April 2nd. And I've already narrowed down, by the way, there's incredibly qualified individuals for this position. We have five finalists at least, and I haven't gotten through all of them, scheduled for the, uh, the panel on April 2nd, and coming forward at least on the agenda planner at this time on April 23rd for confirmation, therefore meeting with council some, sometime in advance of the 23rd to be announced. The uh, chief financial officer position, we have resumed our, our search for that. That position is still posted. So don't know how many applicants yet and don't have the timing established as of now, but it will be sometime in the month of May. Okay. On the CFO, we may need ultimately to go to an executive search for it next is, week. It is possible, yes. Because we're looking for both government and public sector in experience. In a perfect world, we would, would really like that, our, yes. Our approach on this will be for each of these positions, if, if the candidate is comfortable with her or his identity being known, then we're going to we're going to uh, arrange opportunities for everyone on the council to meet meet that that uh, appointee, uh, right? Everyone, uh, if, if, if whoever is available on the particular day, yes. Any that, I'll do that. So it's only if we have another situation where the, the candidate wants the identity to be uh, confidential that we then then we revert to asking the God uh, to name two councilors that person, right? And then the day before, in the informal uh, in, in executive session, we'll share that person's resume with all counsel. So is that is that what we're going to do? Is that the plan? Matter of fact, I was going to ask, if you don't mind, I was going to ask both, I know Laura and Amy have been working on a process to do that. If you would just touch on that, probably for the rest of council and all in the audience, but how 